Hey everybody and welcome to Big G Outdoors. Um, recently I've been hearing a lot of people switching to traditional archery uh, and I'm loving it honestly uh, a lot in my comments and a lot when I go to the archery shop and stuff. Uh, <clears throat> just a lot of people joining the craze which is traditional archery. I mean I think it's a sport that once you get into it it just sucks you in and um, the thing about traditional archery is there's so many ways of doing things and uh, I'm obviously I don't have all the answers I don't think anybody does I think it's a personal preference uh, with that being said uh, I was always an instinctual shooter uh, just looking at the target and shooting and I did pretty good but I would also have some uh, inconsistencies so for I decided that for this year, for the hunting season and everything, I was going to switch to a fixed crawl. Well, uh, I started out in the basement just using the tip uh, of my arrow to practice, you know, focusing on a spot and everything. And uh, once I tried to bring it outside and put it to use, as soon as I started creeping down the string with my, to find my fixed crawl with 20 yards, my bow, I mean, it was making some awful noises. It was just like, I don't know, it just didn't sound right. And I was getting some really weird um, air of flight. So I decided to scrap that. Uh, maybe it's me, maybe my bow just isn't tillered for it. I don't know. But uh, it's just very uncomfortable. And uh, that's what archery is all about, uh, tr especially traditional archery, finding what's comfortable for you. So I did want to improve my consistency not so much my accuracy because I would be really good for months on end and then I'd hit like a two or three week slump but um, I'm gonna try I'm gonna find out my gaps and then what I'm gonna do is um, use my arrow tip as a reference um, but not focus so much on my arrow tip like uh, just staring at that arrow tip trying to figure out 15 inches down no, I'm going to figure out the gap and I'm going to know, you know, about 20 yards I'm supposed to be about 15 inches down. I'm going to use that as a reference. Oh, here's the target back there. So I'll just try to be like down around here and it should shoot up here. You know, I don't want to try to just hold it on there because then, you know, I'm not a, I'm not a person that's going to hold that point on there. I, I tried doing that when I was trying to switch to a fixed crawl and uh, it just, you know, it creates target panic for me. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is um, find my gaps. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so at 10 yards, I was aiming for right below the target at this white PVC pipe. I was putting the tip of the arrow on there and my arrows are striking up here. So let's measure. So you can see at 10 yards, I'm about, my gap is about 18 inches. Uh, a little left and right disparity, but pretty good as far as the, we're all right around that 18 inch mark. So 10 yards, 18, and then we're gonna write it down. Now 15 yards. You can see at 15 yards, the gap's a little bigger because the air is still rising. So at 15 yards, we're about 21 inches. Okay, so we found our gaps. At 10 yards, we're 18 inches high. At 15 yards, we're 21. At 20 yards, we're 21. At 25, we're 19 yards. I mean, 19 inches high. At 30 yards, we're 15 inches high. At 35 yards, it's eight inches high. And at 40 yards, point on. So, if you notice this section right here, 21, 21, 19, that is like the flat part of our trajectory, you know? So if we could find somewhere where we got a reference on our bow, the white line that we made, that if we set it for say, 22 yards if we're seven yards 
closer, we can still use it. We're only an inch, you know, off. If we're, you know, five, six yards further than that, we're still only an inch off. So from 15 to 25 yards, two inches off. And if you have a, a mark on there, just like I said outside, 10 yards in the woods is a big difference. So you're looking down, you got that reference point, you know you're good in a 10 yard range off of that spot. Okay, now that we know our gap, and we know that say between 15 and 22 yards, there isn't much more than maybe an inch or two disparity between 15 and 22 yards, which fortunate for us is about the perfect hunting range. Like, you know, most of your deer are taken between 15 and 20 yards. So we know that's the flat section of our gap, which is good. So one of the things we can do is we can reference on our bow here. A lot of people will be like, oh yeah, that's not traditional. I don't care. So when we're looking down and looking at our riser and getting our sight picture, we can figure out about 20 yards, a sight picture. So we could go with this white pencil and make this line. So now we know that's our 20 yard line. And if we happen to be a little bit closer tonight, we know we could just put that line lower. We could put the line on the bottom of the target. If we're a little bit past 20 yards, we could put the line on the top of the target. And that's gonna give us about 10, 15 yards of dead on accuracy. So let's take a look at how it's gonna look. So we're back here at 20 yards. So using our new little file magic, we could, when we're looking, we could just take that white line and line it up with our target down there. See our target down there? We can just line that white line up with it. And it's hard to focus here, but we'll know we're on target. Now, if we were back a little further, we know we could put, we could put that white line right on top of the target, just above where we want to hit. And if we're closer, we could put it just below where we want to hit. Let's try it out. white line just below the target just below where we want to hit so say like if we wanted to hit this knock we know our disparity is about an inch inch and a half we're just going to put it like right here which is a lot easier than a 15 20 inch gap Do one more just so it ain't, we know it ain't a fluke. And that, and that's kind of going to be my new aiming method until I shoot it so much that it becomes ingrained. Then, you know, it's almost like an instinctive gap. So that's what we're going to try. And that's what I, you know, I'm always trying new things. So thanks for watching Big G Outdoors.